very close. Yeah. Like I said, we were up on one of the higher levels, and uh, one of the windows on our suite, we could watch and see the fire as it was growing, and at night it was just, you know, so bright from the, the, the flames and everything. And when we came on the charter bus to come here, they took us right through Lahaina, and we were able to see up close and firsthand the devastation and how everything we saw the day before was so lush and beautiful is just completely gone now. It's just everything burned. They said they don't expect to have power anytime soon, all the power poles. Are Um, to just view what's happened in Lahaina was really, really so sad. We really, our hearts definitely go out to all those who lost everything, their livelihoods, their family, their, their homes. Um, yeah, we had just driven through two days earlier and it was beautiful and bustling and then coming back on the way back and seeing um, just absolute devastation. It was really heartbreaking. Um, also just being mindful of people who live here full-time and making sure that resources were available for them and we're tourists so we can go somewhere else and um, they have to stay here and so we're just being mindful yeah and they were running out of supplies and